on your collection continues to impress as they are back with yet another collaboration. This time bringing us to Amon Manier by Air Jordan 4 while you were sleeping. I hope you all are feeling wonderful. Today is definitely going to be a great day. The weather is finally breaking. Oh my goodness, that heat was tearing me up. But yes, everyone, you already know the vibes. It is good vibes only. Positive vibrations always. It is your girl, Chance All Real, welcoming all my good people back to the channel. So everyone, in today's video, if you did have a chance to read the title, then you know that we are going to be taking a closer look at the Air Jordan for a while. You were sleeping as well as doing an unboxing and doing an on foot for this sneaker. So I'm definitely, definitely excited. I knew from the moment I first seen pictures of this sneaker that I wanted this shoe and I actually have not had a chance to look at the sneaker. I haven't opened them up because I was waiting to share that with all of you. So I'm definitely thankful and super excited for sure. But before we do get started with today's video, y'all already know the routine. Be sure to go crazy on a like button for your girl. And if you are new here and you are just now stopping by, first of all, welcome to the channel, but Come on now, hit that subscribe button, make it official, and become a part of the family as well as ring those bell notifications. This way YouTube will notify you whenever your girl drops a new video and you won't miss out on any of my content. But yes, everyone, we definitely have some things to talk about with this sneaker and no time to waste. So without further ado, let's get started. So as you walk and see, I did get my pair of Jordan 4 while you were sleeping from Corporate shout out to Corporate, much love. I'm gonna go ahead and put Corporate's Instagram in the description below. So all you will have to do is click that link and it'll take you straight to their Instagram page. Be sure to get locked in because you don't wanna miss out on all the heat that they do release. But yes, they did release this sneaker, first come, first serve. Your girl got there about an hour before they opened. And to my surprise, about only three people were sitting there in line when I got there. So people really weren't you know what I mean? Like they weren't really going after this sneaker the way I thought, but hey, hey, make it easier for somebody like me that had to get a pair. So that's definitely dope for sure. But yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and take these bad boys on out the bag. And here is the box, everyone. Okay, so we definitely got a special box with this sneaker definitely definitely dope before i open up the box i'm gonna go ahead and read off the tag for you all so the tag does read woman's air jordan 4 retro og sp and the colorway does read fossil stone slash mtlc pewter and this is a size eight i actually had to go down a half size on this sneaker because i guess my eight and a half must have sold out but i ain't tripping you know what i'm saying it's all good but yes they did release this sneaker in women's sizing so just in case anybody out there was looking to buy a pair in the future you know what i mean or anything like that they did release this sneaker in women's sizes a women's size is one and a half sizes bigger than a men's size so if you wanted a size if you wear a size eight in men's and get a nine and a half in women's if you wear a 10 in men's you need an 11 and a half in women's and so on so forth but yes let's go ahead and check out this box so you walk and see all right make sure you walk and see this this is how the box opens up here got our mom on years logo right here in the center and then looks like it goes this way so let me scoot back this way this definitely feels like fancy all right they got this this nice material covering instead of like that that paper wrap that I'm used to got this nice material and then Underneath this, this burgundy, we have that paper wrap. Dope, dope, dope. And here we have it, everyone. The Ama Manier by Air Jordan 4. While you were sleeping, this shoe right here is definitely nice. For sure, this is my first time seeing this shoe in hand, and these definitely did not disappoint. I was expecting for this sneaker to be everything that I was anticipating when I had seen pictures, but like I said, 
You never get the full effect of a sneaker until you have the sneaker in hand. And yes, everyone, these definitely look good for sure. Even though this sneaker looks like it is pretty simple and chill, there's still some pretty nice details going on with this sneaker for sure. So if you take a closer look at the shoe, as you walk and see, the upper portion of the sneaker is dressed in that monochromatic fossil hue on the upper portion of the sneaker. All right, and towards the toe area, that mud guard, we do have a hairy suede material wrapping around the toe box. We do have some very, very nice nubuck material above the hairy suede on the upper portion of the sneaker. And let me tell y'all, the suede material feels so nice and soft and like just really, really nice. Like the material on this sneaker, I can just definitely say right from the get go, the material on this sneaker, the materials that they use, definitely a 10 out of 10. Cause yes, usually Ama Manier does come with crazy materials, but yes, these are definitely, definitely really nice. But yes, we do have that classic Air Jordan 4 netting on both the lateral and the medial side of the sneaker. All right, right under that, we do have a cream midsole wrapping around the entire portion of the sneaker, giving the sneaker a nice contrast of colors. All right, we do have right above our cream midsoles, we do have a hit of black that kind of makes up for half of the midsole right over our air bubble. All right, all right, we do have burgundy and cream outsoles with that Nike logo on the bottom of the sneaker. Definitely dope. On the heel of the sneaker, we do have that Nike Air logo as well and black, helping that logo pop out on the shoe. Taking a look at the I Stay portion of the sneaker, as you walk and see, we do have fossil stone laces to match with the rest of the upper portion of the sneaker. And taking a look at that tongue, we do have that Jordan logo that metallic Jordan logo embroidered in the sneaker with flight stitched underneath that. All right, this sneaker did come with two spare pairs of laces. As you walk and see, got that Jordan logo. It does say shoelaces right here. One pair of laces, they gave us cream laces and the other one, they gave us a pair of white laces. For me personally, I wouldn't use either laces i would either stick with the laces that the sneaker comes with or i've seen a picture where someone had black laces in the sneaker and i thought that looked really nice so i might have to try that out but yes it's dope that they gave us the option to do a lace swap if we choose to do so but something else that i wanted to show you all was that we do have alternating logos on our tongue so on our right sneaker we have that jordan logo and on the left sneaker, we do have that A for that Ama Manier logo, so that's definitely pretty cool. Definitely one of the standout features on the sneaker, in my humble opinion. And if you look on the inside of the tongue, all right, on this, on the tongue that has the Ama Manier logo, all right, let me make sure. That does say Air Jordan, all right, that is stitched in on the inside. I'm telling y'all, this, this material is just so nice, but. Yes, that does say Air Jordan on the left sneaker and on our right sneaker with the Jordan logo on the inside of the tongue. It does say I'm on my near, so that's definitely pretty cool for sure. And also on our left sneaker, all right, we do have that Nike Air tag as well as an I'm on my near tag. And then if we take a look at the rest of the sock liner on the sneaker, all right, we do have that burgundy satin and let me tell you that like looking at this sneaker this material right here to me popped out it just gives premium okay so like i said the materials the materials baby you gotta check them out but definitely definitely solid through and through this sneaker the sneaker is good to go y'all it's definitely it's definitely solid and taking a look at my pair on either sneaker i don't see any factory flaws with this shoe Definitely got a solid pair. These are definitely good to go for sure. But yes, everyone, that was a closer look at this sneaker. All right, definitely got some nice details going on with this shoe. And overall, I'm really feeling this shoe. You know what I'm saying? I really like the subtle colorway. It's like not doing too much, but it's still eye-catching. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like because it's still pretty simple and subtle, you can, use, you can wear this sneaker 
on any given day and I don't feel like you'll have a hard time styling this shoe you know what I'm saying I feel like what you wear with the sneaker is just as important and to put something together with this I don't think it'll be too hard you just gotta find you know what I'm saying you just gotta find something that kind of matches up with either one of the colors on this sneaker and let the shoe speak for itself but definitely a solid pair of kicks overall if I had to give this sneaker an honest overall rating I'm gonna go with a solid 9 out of 10 on this sneaker I wouldn't necessarily have classified this shoe as a must cop but definitely a sneaker I was looking for like I was looking forward to releasing you know what I'm saying and having a pair of these I'm definitely thankful because these are definitely good to go for sure but you just can't go you really can't go wrong with a pair of Jordan 4's because the Jordan 4 is just one of the most iconic and one of the greatest Jordan models of all time I've said it plenty of times it is my second favorite to the Air Jordan 11, but it's hard. To, it's just really hard to mess up with Jordan 4, and the fact that the materials are a 10 out of 10, that isn't hurting the rating on the sneaker, and the colorway to me is dope as well. Like, I really like how chill the sneaker is, but it's still, it's still, you know what I'm saying? It's still holding its weight. But yeah, the Jordan on my Money Air collection as a whole is definitely, definitely solid. So for anybody out there that was potentially thinking about copping this sneaker sometime in the future, I definitely think that this sneaker is worth the cop. This sneaker did retail for a cool $225, but in my humble opinion, now that I had a chance to take a look at this sneaker and you know evaluate this shoe I definitely think that these are worth it like I said the material the materials on this sneaker are definitely great that's definitely what stands out most about this sneaker but yes outside of that I feel like this is great for everyday wear just going out and being stylish like I said the Air Jordan 4 has always been aesthetically pleasing so all around the board it's a win-win situation. But yes, everyone, that is a wrap for today's video. I did give you all my opinions and my thoughts on this sneaker, but I am curious to know what you all thought about this sneaker. Did you cop this shoe? Did you pass? Are you still thinking about whether or not you're going to cop this Air Jordan 4? Whatever you may feel, let your girl know down in the comment section below because the feedback is always appreciated. Before I go, I just wanted to thank each and every one of you all who took the time out of your day to tune into the video and show your girl some love. I do greatly appreciate all of you. I have plenty more heat for the feet coming your way and soon. So definitely be on the lookout. The next video, the next shoe I got my eyes on are those Travis Scott's and I'm speaking it into existence that I'm going to get a pair, okay? I'm gonna just go ahead and put that good energy in the air. But yes, everyone, definitely be on the lookout for your girl. It is your girl Chance Out Real and until the next video, everyone, we out.